And most Australians know and love a Malaysian satay sauce. I know because I used to specialize in selling satay when I first started my food business here in Sydney. And I used to have to make an inordinate amount of satay sauce in proportion to the amount of satays I was selling because all my customers would always ask for extra satay sauce, right? But to make satay sauce at home can be pretty labor intensive because you gotta, uh, you gotta roast the peanuts, you gotta crush them, and then you gotta make the spice blend and then you're gonna fry it all up and on and on and on. But I've seen though, like uh, some of my Australian customers, they use these YouTube hacks to make shortcut versions of peanut sauce that don't require cooking and they involve uh, maybe like just blending some peanut butter with a uh, other stuff and that just doesn't work for me okay but the great news is you can actually get a hold of ready to eat ready made Malaysian satay sauce nowadays at your local Asian grocery store so go and have a look and find out what's available in your part of the world okay um, now uh, these uh, Malaysian satay sauces they can come in pouches or they come in jars or you just need to reheat them sometimes they even come in dry form and you just want to simmer them in some water until they uh, they thicken up into a sauce okay um, and then what are you gonna use your satay sauce for your peanut sauce here are some of my suggestions First of all, of course, it is with satay, and I just want to clarify because some of my customers get a little bit confused. Satay sauce is not what you use to marinate the satay with, okay, or even to baste the satay with, not Malaysian satay anyway. Satay sauce, you serve it with your satay, okay. So what you want to do to make satay is you want to cut the meat into thin slices, even slices. and then just marinate it with satay seasoning. You can buy a pre-mixed uh, pre satay seasoning and then just add other stuff to it like onion and garlic and lemongrass and turmeric, right? Just marinate it for at least a couple of hours and then skewer them. And then uh, when they're ready, just cook them on a grill quickly. And then serve them with some Malaysian peanut sauce or satay sauce. Vietnamese spring rolls, uh, they're very popular, they're very summery, fresh and delicious and they usually are served with at least a couple of different dips that I'm familiar with um, and one of them consists of a hoisin and peanut based sauce, right? Uh, which makes Malaysian satay sauce perfect for this. Okay, so what you want to do to make Vietnamese spring rolls are uh, soak some rice from your in hot water, set it aside until it softens In the meantime, get some herbs. I'm using a mixture of Malaysian laksa leaves and some Thai herbs here. Uh, prepare the other vegetables. Uh, in my case, I've got some carrots, spring onion, lettuce, and cucumber. And to make the fresh roll dip, what you want to do is uh, place some poison sauce in a bowl, Add some satay sauce, mix it up, you can adjust the seasoning if you like. Uh, to make the spring rolls themselves, what you want to do is soak the rice paper wrappers in warm water and then quickly use them and carefully uh, use them to wrap the vermicelli and salad ingredients into rolls. and voila, ready to serve with the poison and peanut sauce dip.
Gado gado. Uh, gado gado is a vegetable salad that's popular in Malaysia and Indonesia and it's made with a combination of vegetables, tofu, boiled egg and crackers or crockpot and then just uh, served atop with lots and lots of peanut sauce. Okay, to make gado gado, what you want to do, uh, you prepare the different vegetables. Uh, in my case, I'm using cabbage and potatoes. Uh, boil the eggs in water until they're hard boiled and also the potato chunks till they're soft and then remove them and then just cook up the other vegetables I've got the cabbage, carrots, and snake beans and bean sprouts And then you want to arrange all of this on a platter or a plate. Cut up the eggs. And then uh, just serve the salad topped with satay sauce. Tofu or tahu sumba. This is a popular street side snack that I grew up loving back in my hometown in Seremban and it can be served with chili sauce and or peanut sauce. To make the tahu sumba, first you just uh, fry up some firm white tofu until they're evenly brown and then set them aside and let them cool down for a bit. Now, in the meantime, you want to prepare the vegetables by cutting into thin strips a combination of cucumber and bean sprouts, lettuce and carrots and cut into half diagonally when they're ready. Uh, cut a slit in the middle and then just stuff them with the vegetables and then just serve them dipped in or drizzled with saray sauce. Sade chalup. Now this is a, an iconic dish from Malacca in Malaysia and it consists of skewered meat and vegetables served uh, cooked in a, a hot pot style in a sauce that's not too dissimilar to a uh, thinned down version of sade sauce. So a shortcut way to make sade chalup is by using ready-made sade sauce uh, just heat up the sauce with some chicken stock or some water and adjust the seasoning to taste. Uh, skewer your choice of fish balls and other protein and vegetables. Cook in the sade chalup sauce until done. And then voila, there you go, that's your sade chalup. Dipping sauce, a uh, really made uh, sate sauce works great as a general dipping sauce for credit or chips or crisps or crop ball or Malaysian crackers. Uh, I'm using crop ball in this particular segment, uh, or uh, I'm using crop ball ikan actually, which is uh, fish crackers. And to cook them up, I heated up the oil to 200 degrees Celsius thereabouts and then fried up the crackers so they expanded. and then drain them and then just serve them with some sade sauce from a jar. So there you have it, some quick and simple ideas on how to use a Malaysian sade sauce. If you're after some of the recipes covered in this series along with more tips, uh, why don't you sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash recipes and I'll be sending out more stuff to you by email in due course. Okay, I'm Jackie M from Malaysian Ingredients Made Easy. I'll see you in my next video.